My name is Mackenzie Meldrum. My student ID is 3254433. And in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to perform a buccal mucosal bleeding time test. This test is used to detect abnormalities in platelet function. And these are the uh, tools I'm going to be using. So I have my uh, lancet that I'm going to be using to uh, make the incision. I have my filter paper that I'm going to be using to block the blood away. And then I have my uh, stopwatch, which I'm going to be using to measure the amount of time it takes the blood to clot, which is called bleeding time. And then I also have my uh, gauze strip, which I have already um, used to tie back the lip so that I can expose the mucosal surface. Um, so since I've already got, uh, our patient has been anesthetized and is in lateral recumbency, and since I've already uh, done the first step with the gauze strip, I'm going to take my lancet and I'm going to place it onto the uh, mucosal surface and make an incision. All right, and uh, as you can see the blood there, so now that it's, uh, I'm going to start my timer so that we can start to uh, record the bleeding time. And I'm going to take my filter paper and just uh, place it in the blood. I'm not actually going to touch it to the uh, incision. And we're going to do this uh, every five seconds until the filter paper comes back uh, clean. And that's when clotting has occurred. And um, with most dogs and cats, the, um, the normal bleeding time is between uh, one and five minutes. And anything longer than that is considered abnormal and uh, is indicative of um, platelet uh, dysfunction. So we're just going to keep doing this. So our bleeding has stopped. Okay, so our filter paper has come back clean, so we can stop our stopwatch, and it comes back as 1 minute and 41 seconds, which is uh, normal for a dog, so uh, this patient does not have any uh, platelet dysfunction.